Hi, this is Gigi, Living Real with Gigi on The Price of Business, and I am at the Texas Women Conference, and I'm sitting here with Leslie Sabraco. Uh, she is uh, the founder of Thirsty Girl, and why don't you share with our listeners a little bit about exactly what is Thirsty Girl? Well, I'm a wine expert based in California, in Sonoma, in wine country, and have several books out about wine, and my first was Wine for Women, um, so I've always sort of been, uh, the, you know, the real advocate of women in wine and, and um, women are the largest, uh, the, the majority of wine consumers in this country. Um, so I've written uh, books, have focus on, on women in wine. I have a television show on PBS on the, on the West Coast and I'm a regular on the Today Show talking about wine. And um, everywhere I go, you know, women have come up to me and said, ah, you know, I love wine, I love wine, learn, I want to learn more about it. Mm -hmm. And so I've been working on my third book called Adventures of a Thirsty Girl. And as I told people about that, they just kept saying, well, that's me, I'm a thirsty girl, I'm a thirsty girl, that's me. <laughs> And so, um, started a company about a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a lot of wonderful women working at it, and basically we're a group of, of females who love food, wine, and travel. So we have an online presence, quite strong, with our Thirsty Girl mm -hmm. website, thirstygirl.com, social media outlets, and, um, and get-togethers. We do actual live in-person and wine tastings, too. Wow. How uh, exactly do you, uh, does just the woman who has an interest in wine get involved with Thirsty Girl? You can do it through a number of dish, different ways and touch points. Um, the, the easiest and most basic is to go to our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash thirstygirl, like us, and you'll be kept abreast of kind of what's happening um, with that. We have about 80 chapters around the country, and each of those have Facebook pages, and so we do have chapters in Houston. and and. Um, uh, you can interact, you know, on a more personal level and actually go to some wine events locally. Uh, you can go to our website, thirstygirl.com, and sign up for our free newsletter and membership um, where we'll just give you lots of great wine education and, you know, fun. You can earn rewards on our new website and and, um, and redeem them for some, some pretty cool, uh, not, not actual wine. We can't do that. That's not legal. But. <laughs> I was like, wow! <laughs> but we do, we do um, Twitter chats, TG Tastes, and all sorts of fun stuff. So you can interact with us online, you can interact with us in person. We do a 14-city national tour, which we're on our second city right now, kicking off the national tour. So um, Thirsty Girl is, is in a market near you. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. So um, I love how, I mean, obviously you just love, you know, drinking great wines. And um, uh, we actually have a group of girls that we have every Friday of the month that we have like we would say a happy hour uh -huh. um, but we started doing that we started everybody bringing their favorite wine and, 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 and trying everything one of the things I always kind of find as a challenge is, is the food that's supposed to accompany it so Absolutely. how would I mean how, how do you figure that out really I mean well we do again on thirstygirl.com we do quite a lot of education um, mm -hmm. that's my role as, as a wine educator um, to talk about food and wine pairing, and I do it uh, all over the country. Actually, you'll see um, here at here at our booth uh, at the event, we're doing quite a lot of, of wines, fantastic wines that we're tasting from New Zealand and from Washington State and from California, and um, and making wine and food pairing suggestions. So keep in mind a couple of things when you're pairing food and wine, okay. which is there's no wrong answer. <laughs> all right. Eat what you like and eat what you like, and you're good. Um, but match the the sort of textures of the food and wine. So if you've got a big hearty dish. Mm -hmm. You want a wine that can stand up to that kind of hearty and, and rich wine. Okay, that makes sense. Um, if you want to have a lighter, more delicate dish, you, you want a wine that has that same character. Um, you can also um, uh, sort of match the aromas and flavors. If you have a New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc like we have from Villa Maria, um, it's really crisp and citrusy and it goes beautifully with fresh salads and grilled mm -hmm. fish and you know if you have like mushroomy you know mushroomy earthy stew sort of things a right. nice big hearty red we have a beautiful um, Merlot from Blackstone so that has those sort of components as well. Okay well being here in Texas chili and barbecue absolutely <laughs> is really big so what would you suggest? <laughs> chili and barbecue I love them we have a couple of wines that we brought here um, with us that we're pouring that would go great actually with chili and something spicy mm -hmm. um, or sweet barbecue has sometimes has a little bit of sweet and spice to it I recommend going with if you like white wine with something that has a little bit of sweetness like Riesling and we have the Chateau Saint Michel uh, Riesling, which is from Washington State. Terrific wine mm -hmm. um, that actually kind of offsets, almost acts like a beer. You know, when people pick up a beer right. for refreshing purposes after something salty or sweet or, or it's, you know, spicy. 
um, and so Riesling would be a fantastic option. Um, or you can do, a, you know, kind of a, a nice hearty red, um, and we've got a, a really fun wine called House Wine, which is a blend of Cabernet Sauvignon and Syrah mm -hmm. um, from a, a company called House Wine. <laughs> and um, and it's really fun, kind of a hand etched label, you know, handwritten label. It looks really fun. It's your house wine, yeah. and that has a lot of that red fruity character and still a kick of spice in the in the finish of the wine, and that goes beautifully with barbecue. So, I mean, do you think, in your opinion, that there is a, I mean, a huge difference between a forty dollar wine yeah. and a ten dollar wine? Uh huh. Okay, and so what is the difference? Would you say? There are, I'm not a wine connoisseur. You know what? You don't have to spend a fortune to drink well. Mm -hmm. at all. You can find many great wines under $10. Every wine that we brought over there on the table is under 20, between 10 and 20. Mm -hmm. So you can find some terrific um, wines at any price point. Um, you know, it's a really long discussion in terms of what makes a wine expensive, right. but a lot of it, honestly, is when did they buy the vineyard land or do they own the vineyard land? How much new French oak do they use? You know, how large is the production? Who, you know, all those sorts of costs go into it and also perception. So, you know, don't, don't think that you can't get great wines in the 10 to $20 price point. You can get fantastic wines. Look for things like, again, Washington State or, or Australia or um, New Zealand or South Africa. Lots mm -hmm. of fun, interesting wines from other places. Argentina. Uh, last Thanksgiving, I was um, actually at Costco, and there was a Which woman. Which has a great wine section. Yeah, they have a fabulous wine section. Yes. And it's a wide range Absolutely. Of, of what they've got there. But it was funny because I always drink the same thing, and I thought, you know, I'm going to splurge. So I was following this woman around, and each bottle she put in, I'd pick them and put in. And so I ended up with like eight bottles of wine. But it was really interesting because I had some that, I had a wine that was from Germany, which uh -huh. that's very different. And I had a wine that was uh, actually some of the wines I really enjoyed were the ones that were from Italy. Yeah, beautiful um, wines from Italy. Yeah, they were good. Um, anyways, it's time you know, to go, and uh, we appreciated you sitting down with us and having a conversation about uh, your expertise, and uh, you want to go ahead and say your website one more time? Absolutely, thirstygirl.com. You can get our free newsletter and, and uh, join up and have fun. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much, Leslie. This Thank is The you. Price of Business with uh, Gigi on uh, Living Real.